Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how you can search data in the database and filter the values in your J table on the basis of your, of your search the data. For example, you want to be, uh, search on the basis of name and you, uh, you write uh, or you make a text field and you want to search whatever you write in that text field and filter all the names with uh, whatever you enter in that search text field and show it here how you can do it i will show you in this video so let's get started first of all what i need to do is i need to take a text field here and this text field i will repass it So whenever you see something, this internal error, you just need to click this repass button. Okay. So I have this text box and on the basis of text entered in this text box, I want to search some data and filter it into my J table. Okay. So what you need to do is first of all I will change the name of my text field as text field search and then select your text field right click it and go to add event handler and search for the event called key release so go to key and once again add event handler key key released okay so search for action or no search for ev event handler key and key released uh, action and just click this key released action and we reach to the key release action of this uh, text field search button right and in here you want to write the code to to search the data in the database right so what I am going to do here is I will uh, take the skeleton of the code from somewhere till now you might know that we always use the skeleton of the code to query the database and execute some values right so in here what we generally do is we have some this try catch block and in this try catch block we we uh, catch the exception if uh, any exception occurs while the execution of this code this is the this is the query we are going to write and this is the prepared statement in which we pass the query and this option we will use it but not like this I will show you how to use this and then we have the result set whenever we use select query we need to use execute query because ex select um, query gives us the result on the other hand whenever you use insert or update or delete query you use pst.execute because it doesn't give you any result so you don't use uh, result set with insert update or delete and you use uh, execute pst.execute only for insert update and delete right and once you have result you can just iterate your result inside this while loop right so for now i'm going to delete this because i don't need this because i want to filter the data and show in show it into the text box right so first of all this is the query which i am going to write select all or asterisk or star from your table name my table name is uh, table name is employee info and where the clause is where uh, and i want to search on the basis of uh, the name column okay for example i want to search on the basis of name so user or who, who want whoever wants to search the data he will write the name and then uh, our data will be searched on the basis of name okay and then we pass this query to the prepared statement prepared statement pst is equal to connection dot prepare statement and pass this query and then we 
pass the value to this question mark by using pst.set string and th then just take the name of your search text field in my case this text field name is search text field search dot get text okay and this will give you whatever user has entered in the in the search text field right and then we execute this query and i think for now we are not going to use this while loop let's see if we require this while loop or not in for further when we test this but one thing you need to have is your table name right so whatever is the name of your table just take the name of the table in my case the table name is table and then go to your uh, once again search uh, add event key release to the same uh, action perform method okay so just write the name of your table here in this key release in which uh, we are uh, writing our code table dot set model and what set what model we are going to set here we are going to use our db util class uh, whenever i have shown you how to link your uh, database value to the j table i have shown you how to use this db util class by uh, downloading this rs2 xml jar file this has db util class right so just write db and db util which is this one dot result set to model this one and then pass your result set here okay so it's just simple code lines of code okay so this is your code which we use to search the data on the basis of name in your uh, database and show it into the table let's uh, try and run the program and let's uh, search for for example mark okay so let's search for mark you see only mark is filtered here and other are gone okay for example i want to select for john for example John so I can only see John right or otherwise I can just click this load table to load all the data for example I want to search for Peter and I have Peter right now for example I have uh, two names two same names okay so I add a seventh employee ID which has the same name as employee id 2 john and john okay and uh, so and surname i will change it as some surname and age will be different and i will save this data and let's search for john once again let's see if it give a, gives us two result or not and you see it gives us two results here right so in this way you can search for uh, the data on the basis of your uh, selected name okay and just remember here if you are searching for uh, all the data then give star here but if you are searching for or you, you want to load only age or employee id name surname and age instead of this asterisk just write eid comma name comma surname comma age okay now for example what you want is you want to search on the basis of all of your free field so you want to search on the basis of sur surname or you want to search on the basis of age or you want to search on the basis of employee id 
everything on the basis of whatever you want you want to search uh, and filter it in your table how you can do it there is a simple trick I will show you which I use generally so what I'm going to do is in addition to this uh, search text box what I'm going to do is for example first of all let me search for a group box if it I can see it here or I will take uh, first of all a combo box from here and drag and drop here and this combo box I can use it for uh, selecting what kind of data I want to search for okay so com I will change the name of this combo box as combo box select for example okay and in here I will just select this combo box once again and I, I will go to the property called model and I, I will write uh, the model for this like this so I have I want to search on the basis of employee ID name surname and age so I can populate this combo box with these four values EID name it should be name surname age okay I will click OK and then I can just uh, add it my query a little more so what I can do is I will right click once again and I will go to the same key released event from here where I have written my code right so here I have written my code and I can modify this query a little bit so what I can do is um, I can just go above at the top of my try block and I can declare a string variable string selection for example is equal to and I will typecast my selected object in the combo box so string and then the combo box object so my combo box name is what is the name of my combo box so if you see this here that means there is some error in your uh, code which you are writing so I have observed some weird phenomena in uh, uh, Eclipse whenever you uh, I mean you have written some code uh, and it your source code has some error and whenever you want to go to design view it will not show any component in the design view and that's a kind of an error so just make sure that here no error is there whenever you try to go to designer otherwise it will show some weird design okay so now let's go on with the with our code so our string selection is equal to typecast uh, string and we will typecast combo box and we have the combo box selection I think or so let's see what is the name of our combo box I will just comment this go to our code and our combo box name is combo box only so I will just change it as combo box selection and just copy it once again go to my code wherever I was writing the code and in here I will just write combo box selection and it shows uh, this red squiggly line that means the combo box is locally declared by Eclipse there, there sometimes Eclipse declares these component locally and which we don't want so I will just take this combo box and declare this outside my constructor here and this will be private so now it will be 
the go global component or variable okay so once again I will go to my code and then combo box selection dot and then get selected item this should be this one and bracket closed and once I have the selection which I uh, select or which I take from the combo box selection I can replace it with this name so I can search on the basis of uh, whatever is selected in the combo box and instead of this name I can just write single quote in between uh, double quote in between plus plus and then I'll pass this selection in between these plus sign so whatever is the selection in the combo box it will search on the basis of that column okay so run the program and let's say we want to search on the basis of EID which is de by default selected I can write one here and why it's not selecting this let's search on the basis of name for example mark and so there is some problem in selection right so let's see what is the problem okay so I found out the problem the problem is whenever I use the single quote I should use it with the values which are right hand side of the equal to whenever I use it on the left hand side of equal to which is a part of the query it should uh, not recognize the correct query so I am printing the query right now so for example I leave this double quotes uh, uh, for showing you what the error is whenever I use the single quotes outside my uh, outside my values when I say one you see what the query uh, I'm getting is select star from employer uh, info where and in single quotes this employee ID is uh, printed but it should not be in single quotes it should only this employee ID that's why I need to use this without single quotes here so now this query is like this and then your code will run fine hopefully run the code and for example on the basis of employee id for example one i get the result i want to search on the basis of name for example mark i get the result i want to search on the basis of uh, name john and i get get two results right i want to get the get the result on the basis of surname for example 35 nobody is 35 okay on the basis of age okay 35 yes there is one employee with th 35 age or from on the basis of surname for example and I get the result okay so in this way you can search on the basis of selected field which you select in the combo box and whatever you write here you can filter that value inside your um, table so i hope you enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now